this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello folks. When you're interested in industrial design, car design, or coffee machines, or new devices with a lot of IT inside, you can't get around NURBS modeling. Polygon tools are extremely powerful and they are of course uh, used in computer games and in lots of um, contexts. But for industrial design the NURBS topology is just beautifully lean. If you have a look at the object which I, I'm just about to create you see that uh, it's so beautiful in terms of um, topology not many faces as they would be called in the polygon world it's a very lean structure today i want to uh, point you to uh, a 12-part course which i published on udemy and skillshare about nerves modeling it takes you by the hand as a person who knows nothing about maya so i introduce the maya interface in the first one, two, three parts, but basically we're starting to model NURPS surfaces from the very beginning and NURPS curves, of course. In this tutorial, I just briefly show you how to create a hole in this beautiful topology, because basically a hole is not possible here. <laughs> yeah, it is not possible because the the structure of the NURBS surface is closed. It is. Uh, it doesn't want holes. Uh, you can, of course, select a control vertex here and only this one and you can drag it out. But this has nothing to do with the elegant extrusion of a polygon mesh. So how do we create a hole here? We can very easily. There are several ways basically but I use the projection today and we go to one of these side windows and I think this is the nice view for this and I create the letter A and I use the curves tool this one and I need to double click it because I want to select the curve degree of 1. The default is 3 so I created this object with uh, standard NURPS 3 cubic methodology but now I want to have curves which uh, are not elegantly formed but uh, which have sharp sharp edges and that's being done by linear so um, I create the letter A now and I snap to the grid from time to time by pressing and holding the key X so I place it here So this is the first part and I use the same tool again for the inner part of the A. And with the key C I invoke curve snapping so I snap the last point right here so I get a closed curve. I put this in a group that's control G. This is called group 1 now and the two curves are in that group. Um, the group uh, has the pivot right here which is the default when you create a new group it's uh, created at the origin although the members of the group are, maybe sit somewhere else so what I do is modify and I center the pivot and now I move that group over here I don't see it because it's inside or behind our object so I move it to the front does that make sense yes it does and now I want to project this A onto that surface. Very easy. Um, I need to select the two curves. With the Shift key I select the surface and I go back to surface again, project curve on surface and now I'm done. The projection goes all the way through so at the back side you see the A as well but it's in the inside as well even twice and we won't care about that we just take care of the back one which we don't want so we select the cur the surface and we go to this magnet this magnet turns the surface into a live surface that means we're working 
not in 3D space anymore, but on the topology of that surface. So what we can do now is we go to this, uh, the side perspective, sort of, and we select the A here, and we delete it. So this part of the curve is gone. We still have the curves inside, but we won't uh, well bother about them. Now we don't want to see this original A here. Actually, we don't need it anymore, uh, so we did just delete this. So the group is gone, and uh, we have an A projected on the on this side of the surface. Now I select the surface again. I go to the magnet and uh, disable the live view. I'm working in 3D space again now. And uh, I select the surface and now I go to surfaces and the trim tool. And the trim tool looks a bit strange, but uh, it basically wants us to pick the uh, parts of the object which we want to keep. For example, this part, I could have clicked up here as well. And I want to keep this part and now I press enter and now I have my A projected as a whole on that surface when I render it it's a proper A cut into that surface and if you keep construction history that means if you hadn't deleted the original curve which we projected on that surface you could now move that projection on the surface so this A would wander around here. Anyway, this is all I wanted to show you. If you want to know more about NURBS modeling, check out the Udemy and Skillshare courses. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.